Mary Magdalene's Miriam Ring, 0 0.08. They lay together for a long while, enjoying the peacefulness they found themselves bathed in. Mary was the first to rise, and putting on her dress, sat near her lover, watching the small movements of his chest for the coming and going of his breath. She adjusted her position and set herself to go to the place where flow and stillness met in her. Thomas opened his eyes and looked at the woman who sat still and erect beside him with her eyes closed. After a little while watching her, he also put on his clothes and took a seat pad and placed it on the ground in front of the bow that curved up against the wall. He sat there, legs extended, eyes closed. He was pleasantly exhausted and it seemed that his mind had given up its assault on him. Grief was still in the wings, but for now he could carry on. And when Mary opened her eyes again, Thomas was leaning against the base of an ancient fig tree, sleeping soundly. He looked so young and innocent that Mary smiled, her heart going out to him. She never could have dreamt of what had happened in the garden that morning. She got up, letting the stiffness drain from her legs as she stretched her back and all her limbs. She wouldn't wake him, but she had to go. She planted a light kiss upon the top of his head as she bent to whisper her goodbye, and a slight murmur might have answered her, but perhaps not. She walked back across the garden and up into the house where she found the maid who had let her in, and who now told her that Tobias was still not back from the synagogue. Mary told her that Thomas was asleep in the arbour of the garden, and asked her to prepare some food for him to have in an hour or so, when he would likely awake. Then she left, as quietly as she had come, crossing over and up the street. Anonymous.